All right, so we're going to be finding the equation of a line that passes through those three points. So let's take a look at what it looks like. So there are our three points in 3D space, and there's going to be a plane. We're going to find the equation of that plane. So first step, we're going to find two vectors that connect any of those three points. So a vector between A and B. Now all you need to do is subtract the X components, so 4 minus 2, and then the... Um, Y components, or the J components, and then the K components. So that'll give us our vector, 2Y uh, minus J minus K. And another vector we're going to do is BC. So the C components, the CI components minus the BI components, the CJ components minus the BJ components, and the K components subtracted from each other. So this is going to give us our two vectors between uh, these three lines, uh, these three points. So step two, now we're going to find a perpendicular vector uh, using the cross product. Now you know how to do this, we've got vector AB, vector BC, determinants, IJK. Now just while, uh, while I'm calculating this, it's probably important to note why we're doing this. Remember that a plane can be defined by a single point and a line that's perpendicular to that single point. Uh, so, step three, find the equation of a plane using a formula. This formula, this formula means we're going to take these values and put them in for n1, n2, and n3, and we're going to substitute any of the points. So I'm going to choose point A, but I could have chosen point B or point C to sub in for A, B, and C here. All right, from here, it's simply algebra. We just jump through the hoops here. Distributive law, expand this thing out. Now, I make a little... I'm going to stuff up here. It should be negative 8, not positive 8. So, you can see everything's got a common factor, so we can just simplify this a bit further. And it should be negative 4. I'll put them in at the end. And that is how you find the equation of a plane that passes through three points.